подойти к анаконде, та испугалась и попыталась уползти. Натуралиста такой ход событий не устроил, и он решил спровоцировать. Snakes, but nothing matches the power of a retic. 
You put your hand there, you try and squeeze the body. It's total muscle. It's like spring steel. You cannot believe it. And even if he lies dormant in that water, sometimes for weeks at a time, waiting for something to come, something to feed on, he instantly springs to life. I mean, you lie like that for a couple of weeks and you see you can't move afterwards. These guys are muscle like this, muscle down all the time. He can strike out instantly with all his power. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to have to release him and just take pictures as it is. Because you can see, trying to straighten this guy out is next to impossible. He's just too strong. There's nothing he can do against this thing. I think I'm taking too much of a chance here. I can do this without the flash, but not with it. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I think... I think I've been pushing it enough with this guy. I mean, he's really done good. He's done everything in his power to get away from me, and I've just been holding him long enough to get a few decent pictures. So if I can just bring him around... He can come back to the water, and he can go on his way. He's got to be careful he doesn't come to me. There we are, boy. There's the pool. Go figure. I tell you, isn't that a snake? Isn't that something? Unbelievable to find a snake like this. Look at this. He actually just wants to get away. So finally, he's just decided, let me get out of here. I don't even want to eat this guy. If I could take another picture, it'd be wonderful, but I think he deserves his freedom. He deserves to go. It's incredible experience. Look at this snake, 20 foot long. Hey, he didn't even eat me. I think it's marvelous. It's just wonderful. It's a beautiful snake. Look at that guy. Unbelievable experience. I'll never forget this. We can pull it out. Yeah. Get it. Some of this root. You gotta go. Oh, that root there? Yeah. Right. Light. Pulling out. Uh. Large female that we just found. <laughs> Poison ivy isn't important anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Poison ivy. I'm gonna be covered in it. We got a. Come here, mate. 14 foot plus. Uh. Uh. Keep going. <laughs> Oh, it it's just unleashed on you. And he just got <laughs> shit all <laughs> over me. By it. Uh, expected. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice animal, for sure. My God, this thing. Are human beings pushing the limit of what giant snakes can bite? squeeze and swallow any serpent going after human sized prey would have to be 15 feet long or bigger 30 foot reticulated pythons are the longest serpents on earth anacondas are thicker and heavier both snakes are great swimmers retics are master tree climbers capable of rising into the canopy and descending to the forest floor performing a deadly strike a snake that attacks giant prey would have to be fearless. Reticulated pythons are highly aggressive. To capture one, you need a team of experienced snake catchers. Scientist David Williams and a team of seven men from Malaysia's Zoo Nagara are trying to capture this 18-foot python. Wow, look at the size of that snake. Okay. Maria Munoz grabbed an 18-foot anaconda with her bare hands. But that won't work with reticulated pythons. Their aggressiveness may be what's protecting them from hungry predators like leopards and tigers. A snake hunting human-sized prey would have to be big and bold. But that's still just part of the package. Pythons have other powerful weapons. Cat-like eyes for nighttime hunting. Deep heat-sensing pits for tracking animals and gauging distance and diamond patterned skin blending into the forest floor and the trees. Inside the python's mouth is the same deadly arsenal as the anaconda. 100 recurved teeth. These are just massive, curving back into the throat of the snake. So when it bites down and pulls back, you can't get out. Both serpents have the same powerful jaw muscles, perfect for clamping down onto giant prey. If the python was tracking him, Juan probably had no idea he was being stalked. Giant snakes have yet another deadly weapon in their arsenal. They're highly skilled ambush predators who hunt and kill in silence. But what propels a 200-pound creature across the forest floor without making a sound? 
The drive shaft of a giant snake is a network of 15,000 muscles and scales working together. Approximately 20 sets of muscles are repeated along a snake's body. When the giant snake switches to attack mode, it downshifts these muscle groups into a caterpillar-like motion. Contractions pulse down the body from the head. Belly scales hook into the ground, pushing the serpent along with thousands of tiny abdominal crunches. It's rare to see these one to three inch belly scales up close. The tread that churns these serpents forward. Belly scales. This is what a snipe... подойти к анаконде, та испугалась и попыталась уползти. Натуралиста такой ход событий не устроил, и он решил спровоцировать. the jungle closed in, I knew I was near the source of the Kinabatangan River, said to be the home of the largest snakes. But I was here for one snake in particular, the one snake in Borneo capable of eating a man, the giant reticulated python, and I was hot on its trail. Well, you wouldn't even see this on camera. Maybe if you come close, maybe you can see. That's definitely a drag mark. I mean, yeah, where the water is, everything's washed away, but if you just look on the edge, you can actually see the lines. Only a big snake can do that. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at this. There we are. All the proof I need. Here's a piece of skin. This snake is shedding its skin. From this piece of skin, because if you look, the scales are very small. You can't exactly tell how big that snake is, but look at this piece here. Now, that's the bottom scale. That's from under the tummy. On the top, the scales are small and equal. Under the stomach, you have single scales like that passing under the bottom. It's got to be a big snake to have a scale that size. Big, big snake, and he's dragged all the way here. And go on, there's some more there. There's some more skin look, on this root. This root can't bite, so he's been dragging. Oh, now I can see. Look at this. See, if you wet the skin, keep it wet, you can open it up. Look at the pattern. Without any question of doubt, you can see it's a reticulated python. I wasn't sure about that over there. Look at that. Big piece of skin. He's gone off here. He's right on the track. Oh, quite a big snake, I suspect. I just feel it on cloud because we found so much skin. Look at this. Look at this. I and mean, this snake is right here, it's been shedding. It's, it's been shedding and pushing itself all along this bank here somewhere.